So you want to get your business onto television. I'm going to show you how I got my company from a garden shed onto mainstream ITV. Okay, so I'm going to take you back to, it was about 2009, um, I'd started uh, Live With Wood, making rustic furniture in my father's shed, and uh, I then moved into an old pit canteen, so it was very rough and ready, the roof leaked and everything, and uh, I'd got a dream to get uh, my products onto television. So I sat one evening and I just, uh, flicking through uh, the internet like you do and um, I decided to see if I could find somebody who will wait for ITV and see if I could find any contact details so I tapped away on Google and I managed to find um, a production company in Manchester that actually did wait for ITV so uh, I just typed out a quick email saying that uh, I was making my own wooden furniture and um, what would be the chances of getting some of my furniture on a television programme on ITV and I left it at that. So about, it'd probably be about three or four weeks later, I'd basically forgot about it. Um, so I just forgot I'd even sent the email and um, I went into my weight shop about, uh, I think it was about half oh, past eight, nine o'clock in the morning and the phone, the uh, landline phone was ringing thought that's unusual because it never used to ring very much in that early in the morning so uh, I went through into my office and picked the phone up and uh, I can't remember the lady's name but it was a lady and she said uh, I'm calling uh, from ITV and I sort of sat there smiling to myself thinking oh this is just somebody I know just winding me up just having a laugh so I sort of just played along with it. I said, oh yeah, yeah, right, okay, right, okay, yeah, all right. And she says, yes, yes, I'm ringing from ITV. And she said, uh, we've been let down by a company and I wonder if you could help us out. So uh, I said, right, tell me more. So she said, uh, yes, have you heard of the programme 60 Minute Makeover? So I said, yes. And she said, uh, we've got a company who uh, was going to make some furniture but uh, the last minute they've pulled out. She said, uh, could you help us out? So never doing anything like that before, I sort of said, yeah, 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 of course I will, yeah. So um, I don't know if, if any of you have done work for television, you'll, you'll probably realize this, but nine times out of 10, they don't pay you for the furniture. You basically do the furniture because it's free advertising for you. It's free publicity. So uh, I said, yeah, 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 no problem. I'll do that for you. Not knowing what I was letting myself in for. So she said, can I send some details across to you? And I said, yeah, yeah, send them across and uh, I'll have a look at them for you. So they sent this um, document through with these drawings and sizes on, and it was for a load of living room furniture for a house. A lady in Warrington, they were doing a living room for her. Um, and uh, so, the details came through and I looked at them and there was I felt a bit sick because there was quite a lot of furniture and I thought wow what have I let myself in for here so I thought oh well I've said I'll do it now so I've just got to do it so I don't know how I did it but I found a way and I did it and I made this furniture there was a television cabinet a coffee table and a sideboard and a few items and I made it and uh, they came and collected it. They sent uh, some guys in a lorry to come and pick it all up and they took it away. So about, what would it be, six, seven months later, um, I got an email from the lady saying that the episode was due to be aired. This is the time and the channel. And um, it came on the programme and it, it was, uh, at the time it was Colin and Justin, the two interior designers, who were hosting the show um, and it, I can't tell you how surreal it felt to see them carrying items into the property that I'd made um, it's just surreal 
it's really is surreal <laughs> can't uh, explain it but uh, at one point uh, I think it was Colin uh, went into the back of this big articulated lorry and there was a, a bookshelf I, I can remember there that I'd made uh, a few months before and uh, He's explaining all about this bookcase and saying, oh, it's from a company in Derbyshire called Live With Wood and everything. And I can't tell you how it feels. It feels really surreal. So basically what I want to get across in this video is if you do want to get your products on television, then just just go for it. They'll, the companies can only say no. And you, what you'll probably find is since then, I've done 60 Minute Makeover. I've done props for CBeebies. I've done Love Your Garden with Alan Titchmarsh. I've done quite a few different shows and we've done a lot of props and things for film and production companies all over the country. So basically what I want to say is don't be sort of overwhelmed with it and don't think you can't do it, you can. If, you, if you're making products, even if you're only in a small manufacturing, like a little workshop that's out of your house, you can still get your products on TV. So just give it a try. So just get on Google and have a tap about and you'll be amazed. There's a lot of production companies around the Manchester area um, who wait for ITV and whatnot. So, and Channel 4. So if you want, just message them and just put your name out there and um, it's you'll be amazed how many will come back to you and uh, ask you for your help. So um, just remember me when you get your products online, by the way, when you're famous, just go for it. Get your products, get on Google, find some contacts. A good one is LinkedIn. Get on LinkedIn, search ITV or the television programme, the production company. Find out who the production company is behind the programme because it's no good like trying to message Love Your Garden or whatnot, if you go to the production company behind it and then message them, you'll find it's them that make the decision about uh, a lot of the materials and a lot of the props and products and things. So uh, give it a go and uh, hopefully you could see your products on television.